Hey guys, this is my review for season one of Supernatural. This took me three goddamn years, but I finally finished it. I finally finished going through the entirety of the opening season of this show. There's a lot to see in comparison to obviously the recent and final season that's happening right now. The show has gone through so many changes from how the characters are written to how the show is shot to how the show is done in post to just how the show was put together. It's two totally different entities. Seeing what it used to be to seeing where it is now, night and day is not exactly the proper description, but there is so much of a change that it's not the same show. Not even in the sense of how they do the stories. The show started with a lot of horror elements, a lot of dark lighting, a lot of mysterious mood character drama, but there wasn't so much character drama in terms of conversations. They were there when they needed to be. Whereas now, the show is lit up brighter than my face is right now. The aperture setting is so freaking high that you can't see anything around them. They've done every story in the book to death, so they literally are going on the same treadmill over and over again. And there's a lot more elements of just them being their characters rather than an actual narrative being the main drive. To see this is just so perplexing to me. Seeing this now, I'm realizing it's gonna be kind of odd to suggest this show to anyone in the future once Supernatural is done. I always have said that the first five seasons are definitely what you should watch, but if they were to continue on having never watched the show before, I would be very interested to see what would happen to them after five and then seeing how it goes through and seeing them get to this ending and being like, why? Why did it go this long? I would be very interested just to see someone who has, I know there's fans right now that are doing that, but I'm meaning years from now, like maybe two, three, four years on down the road, having someone try and watch this show in its entirety. Be like me trying to watch Stargate. I know I watched a couple of episodes here and there, but I was committed to trying to watch the entirety of it at one point, but it was taken off Netflix very, very shortly. But this show still has some fantastic horror elements. I particularly liked how the show was shot. The narrative is not as a mainstay as it would later become. There's very piecemeal sort of episodes here and there. There is an overall narrative to it, but you really could pick and choose which ones. If you wanted a overall narrative, I would say maybe less than 10 episodes of this season even matter. But as a whole, it's still a very engaging, very fun time. I would say season two is most likely going to top this. It's going to take all the elements that were really good about season one and it's going to place it in like a higher threshold. But season one still surprised me with episodes like Bloody Mary. It surprised me with its finale. There was a few episodes that have always stuck out to me that I thought used to be good and they actually turned out to not be that great, Home being a big one. But then other episodes that I didn't entirely enjoy the first time around, like Bloody Mary, the pilot episode, a few of these were kind of just meh to me when I remember watching this show for the first time, but they've grown to be so much better now. So Supernatural Season 1 is obviously a really, really good thing to watch. It's a great opening season for this show. It did lay tiny bits of groundwork, which the second season is gonna take and grow and make much bigger. But I still feel this is a decent opener, but you could actually sort of just do what I did, which was watch the last two episodes of the first season and then continue the show. I actually don't really see much of what I missed having not seen the entirety of the other episode aside from what I saw millions of times through the recaps. This is the first time in a while that I've really wanted a 4.5 because I like the first season. It is good, but in terms of its actual usefulness, like I said, the last three episodes really are what you should watch if you had to watch it in a pinch. You could watch the last three episodes and get the gist of the show, but I'm not gonna give it a four because that would put it really, really close to the last three seasons. So I'm going to give Supernatural Season 1 a 5 out of 7. I enjoyed this season. It took me so freaking long to watch it, but I finally finished it. And I will eventually start Season 2 because we got to start it now, considering just how pointless 
the episode of season 15 was today. I just, I want to watch something good again. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and sorry again for taking so damn, 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 damn long to finish this. Thank you for all those of you who stuck around and continued watching it. I'm sorry for those of you who kind of got tired with waiting for my ass to finally finish it. Then anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. <sniffs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.